What's up, co-reporters, and welcome back to my channel. Do you guys remember Kendra Wilkinson? Millennials definitely will. She was one of the uh, girls next door, one of the Playboy models, like one of Hugh Hefner's true and actual girlfriends. There she is with Holly Madison, and I'm sorry, but I don't know the woman clinging off of uh, Hugh in this photo, but Kendra, I remember watching her E! True Hollywood story as she talked about running away from home and joining the Playboy Mansion when she was only like 18 years old um, to live with this dirty old man and a bunch of other women who are far too young for this grandpa. And now these decisions and the consequences of these like, you know, things that she went through are weighing down on her. And she unfortunately, um, she almost succumbed to depression you guys, she was truly, truly depressed. It was her ex-husband, Hank, who had to take her to the hospital for her to be taken care of and rehabilitated there just because of all that she had gone through, not only from, you know, being a Playboy model and all that stuff that comes with Hugh Hefner, but just in general. So this is an interview that she did with People Magazine, where she says, and I quote, I was dying of depression. I was hitting the end of my life and I went into psychosis. I felt like I wasn't strong enough to live anymore. And that is just such a scary, scary place to be. And just uh, imagining that she was there um, is quite shocking to me because guess what? I thought that Kendra was living a really good life. It's so crazy how you truly don't know what's happening behind the scenes. I thought that she... Um, you know, being a, a luxury real estate agent now, like just, you know, was was feeling happy and fulfilled. She got her divorce, which, you know, can also be something that's fulfilling and liberating as well. If a relationship or marriage was not serving you, um, she's got her two kids. She's got a boy and a girl. Her son is 14 years old. Her daughter is nine years old. Um, it really felt, or, you know, from my perspective, like she had it all going on, but no, unfortunately on the inside, she truly was suffering. So in her interview with People Magazine, she also went on to say, it was the lowest place I've ever been in my life. I felt like I had no future. I couldn't see in front of my depression. I was giving up and I couldn't find the light. I had no hope. So when it comes to, you know, trying to fight the depression on her own, she says that she tried to, she really, really did. She was trying to fight it. She was trying to cure it. And then she realized that this was something that she couldn't do on her own. She couldn't beat this on her own. And uh, she says that she was isolating, hiding, blaming myself blaming the world. I was spiraling out of control and I felt like I wasn't strong enough to survive. And so that is when she reached out for help to her ex-husband, Hank Basket, um, who she was married to for quite a bit of time there. And he ultimately wound up driving Kendra to the hospital so that she could check in and have all the treatment and time that she needs to deal with this depression that she was going through, which I think is absolutely wonderful that, that, they, have, that they have that sort of relationship where they could step up for one another in times of crisis like this. So uh, Kendra's exact quote was, Hank driving me to the hospital that day was out of care. It wasn't out of marriage. Um, and then she says that, um, you know, the Playboy thing in regards to that, she feels now looking back on it and it just makes me so sad. This is why it's all the more disturbing that someone this old could be interested in like 18 year olds and whatnot. You know what I mean? Like 18 year olds, they think they're grown. They think they know everything. They think they're OK. But when you look back on certain decisions that you make, you know, at that age and time in your life, um, you know, especially when there are decisions, decisions like this. They can lead to you feeling disgusted with yourself and disgusted with the sorts of men who were around you. There is no reason for a 60, 70, 80 year old man to have any sort of interest in an 18 year old child. You know, I know that's considered legally an adult, but still, when you look at the disparity, the age difference, it's disgusting. It's disturbing. It's predatory. It's it's just so wrong on so many levels. And the fact that this was ever as an establishment allowed to become a mainstream thing still angers me to this day. Do you guys remember Playboy was huge when I was growing up? Their magazine, people were dressing up as Playboy bunnies for Halloween, like high school girls were doing this. Um, you know, when you go to the tanning salon, you can get like the Playboy bunny logo tanned on you, even if you're like, what, 16, 14, whatever, however old people are, you know, when they're tanning and stuff like from young. And just it was such a big normalized thing, the idea that this 
creepy, dirty old man was with a bunch of barely legal little girls, you know? And so now Kendra looking back is like, wow, like why didn't anyone protect me? You know, like unfortunately her relationship with her parents and her family was difficult. And so that's how she wound up over there. She needed a way to live and survive. And unfortunately being preyed upon by this creep was her way, you know? Um, and I definitely don't fault her for that. She was only 18 years old. Like Hugh Hefner never should have been interested in her. You know what I mean? Um, and like all the other adults involved in all of this. So uh, anyway, Kedra went on to say, I didn't realize how bad I was suffering or what people were seeing of me until I got there. I had to really look in the mirror and be like, I need help. And so when it comes to the Hugh Hefner stuff, as part of her healing, Kendra started asking herself questions like, why did I have SCX with Hugh Hefner at that age? Why did I do that? Why did I go to the mansion in the first place? Why did I get big boobs? Why am I an SEX symbol? You know, the list really just goes on when you over actualize yourself, especially from such a young age. It's something that, you know, will haunt and follow you for a really long time, potentially the rest of your life, which makes, you know, the new boom and the new evolution of these like young ex worker girlies on like things like only fans and whatnot even more concerning you know because the Hugh Hefner mansion the Playboy mansion was something that existed in like a singular place and you had to audition or fit a certain criteria to be there and do that but now with this like only fans thing that like you know the the barely legal girlies are doing like for example Daniela Daniela or Danielle Brogoli the Catch Me Outside girl, as soon as she turned 18, she joined OnlyFans and a bunch of creepy old men. Guess what? They're like, wow, she just turned 18. So she's basically still a child. Let me go spend all this money to see what she looks like nude. You know what I mean? There is no barrier to entry. Anybody, any 18 year old girl, you know, can get on that thing and just start, you know, maybe down the line, have these same issues, right? Like where you start feeling just disgusted with yourself and the people around you who were consuming these things and participating in your actualization as a young girl. Um, but now back on topic with Kendra. Sorry, it's just such a frustrating topic. Um, Kendra is announcing that she is doing better now. Okay. She's taking care of herself. She's taking care of her kids. She's surrounded by great friends and everything like that. Um, and when it comes to how she's managing her kids moving forward and trying to hope and pray that they don't end up in a similar situation, Kendra says, and I quote, I see loopholes in my life where I'm trying to correct now. So my daughter doesn't have to experience what I did at a young age. I don't want my daughter actualized like I was, which was such a powerful thing to say, you know, because it's true. Unfortunately, still this happens, you know, with young girls and whatnot. Um, and um, we just, we have to do better as a society with it. You know, it's a little bit off topic, but I will say this, you know how Kim Kardashian's daughter, Chicago West is celebrating her birthday. I was on TikTok before I started filming today and I saw a video of her and Dream Kardashian and everything. And the comment section of that video was very alarming. She's like six years old. And the comment section, she's a cute girl. Like, you know, she's, she's, she's a baby. Right. Um, but the comments and a lot of it was even women like, Oh my God, her face card. She's going to be so bad. Like she's this, she's that. And then the comments would get worse than that. Like that already to me is weird, but they're like, Oh, someone said she and dream have the best face cards of all the Kardashian kids. I'm like, these cards, these are babies. Like, what are you talking about? Why are you ranking children's looks and stuff? And then like in the, within that, they go deeper into how attractive these kids are. And I'm like, guys, what is happening to us that this is so normal? It's bizarre. It just ugh, it makes my skin crawl that people even think this way about kids. Just say cute kids and keep it moving. We don't need to rank them. We don't need to talk about them being bad or how they're going to be bad when they're older. It's all just so weird, but I digress. Um, anyway, Kendra, in light of her experience, is saying that she's a really big advocate for therapy. She says that um, therapy allowed her to build a tool system so that she can help herself in the future if ever she falls into a deep pit again. And so she also says that she now has the strength and the foundation that she needs to overcome her depression. So you know what, Kendra, kudos to you for sharing your story. I think it's very brave because unfortunately, depression, anxiety, and mental health um, uh, problems like that are still very heavily stigmatized. Um, and, you know, in speaking out, she's helping to break the stigma and in speaking out against this, you know, disgusting thing and era of collective pop culture history that was the Playboy Mansion still does need to be shamed as much as possible because it's still very disturbing what happened over there, you know, and I would love to see more and more and more documentaries and books and whatnot about 
everything that happened there. I think that we really are only scratching the surface on what was going on behind the scenes. And I think that Hugh Hefner needs to be exposed as much as possible for the filthy creep that he was. Anyway, you guys, that does it for this video. Let me know what you think about Kendra's journey in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.